We're here celebrating the announcement of a $100,000 grant from Exxon, um, specifically targeted to the STEM opportunities that we're trying to provide throughout the, uh, the school system. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great announcement, it's a great day. The only way that uh, we are going to effectively move education forward in our parish is through partnerships with corporations, uh, businesses like ExxonMobil. Exxon's been a great partner for the school system for years. This is another great example of it. Um, but they, they bring in not just money like this, $100,000 for the whole system, but also volunteers from their business to help work one-on-one -on -one with the students um, so that they understand and can see that there's actually a path for them uh, beyond maybe some of the traditional things they think of. You know, there's nothing better um, to help someone see they can aspire to be something different than have someone work with them. Um, so bringing in engineers, other folks who have a background in STEM education and showing them practical ways they can actually employ that, um, which may lead to some of these students on a path for a, for a job or a career that maybe they hadn't thought of before. And if we can do that, then we're making some real progress in our school system. I'm a huge believer, even today, our school system provides as good or better, in most cases, opportunities for education than any uh, any other school opportunity in our parish, and that includes private. Um, so the mission of the foundation is to help continue to find ways to take all these great students, um, add a little, little more flavor to what they're learning, how they're learning, and better prepare them for where they're headed. Because at the end of the day, uh, you guys are our future. And it's good to see some of you here this morning. So a uh, big thanks again for it. I'm excited about the announcement. I'm not going to go into the announcement. We're going to save that for folks who, uh, who are here. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Angela Zarang uh, with Exxon. So Angela. Thank you. Okay. First order of business, I'm told this mic is not on. Is it on now? Nope. Well, I don't know if it's going to work, so we'll just, we'll just be loud, okay? Good morning. Um, I am really, really excited to be here. So for those who don't know me, I am Angela Zarang. I'm one of the plant managers with ExxonMobil here in Baton Rouge. And I'm also the current chair of the advisory council for the high school for the engineering professions here at Scotlandville Magnet High School. I've been involved with this program for a, a number of years. Uh, I've been with ExxonMobil for 27, 28 years, and for all of those years, I've been involved in our educational outreach activities. Uh, as many of you know, ExxonMobil has invested in STEM education outreach for decades. Uh, our employees, who you see here today, some of our volunteers here in the red shirts, spend more than 45,000 hours every year in the classroom. Uh, and those are professionals who, like me, are just really excited about inspiring students to really get a strong background in a STEM education. Whether or not they go on to be engineers, a strong background in STEM opens just a tremendous number of opportunities for them for their future. Uh, and today, I'm especially excited uh, to be able to announce today's grant. So I've worked for a, a while now on this one, and it's great to see it come to fruition. Uh, ExxonMobil is very excited to announce a $100,000 grant to the Foundation for the East Baton Rouge School System to support the STEM Learning Network. Uh, as part of that, the Scotlandville High School will have an opportunity to enjoy in some funding, which the students are going to tell you about, so I won't spend too much time on that. But I do want to give a few other examples of the kind of things that the STEM Network grant will allow us to do. So one of the things it will do is to provide resources and support and a structure, really, for our students, our teachers, our faculty, our parents, and the community uh, to invest in STEM learning networks. So very much like the advisory council that I'm a part of here uh, at Scotlandville High School, we're looking to do that in other schools. We're looking to provide direct support to teachers. So last year there were some grants, uh, I think we might have some of the teachers here today, I'm not 100% not sure of that, uh, who were able to enjoy in those grants last year. There'll be some direct grants again this year, I think $15,000 of the grant money will be directed to that, which will allow teachers to bring direct project, hands-on learning opportunities into the classroom that can then be duplicated in other schools, in other locations. So we're really looking forward to that, some of the sharing that goes on across, across the teachers. 
Uh, here at Scotlandville today in this beautiful space where we're standing and where you're, seating, where you're seated, uh, we're going to transform this space with the talent and ingenuity of these students, right, into a garden. And they're going to tell you a little bit about that uh, in a minute. But what excites me so much about that isn't so much the end result of the green space that we're going to turn into something really useful for the students and a bit of a legacy from the seniors, right, uh, to, their, to the folks who are coming in their footsteps. It's the learning process. It's that engineering process that they're going to go through. And we're really investing today, not just in these students and in this school and in EBR, we're investing in our future workforce. You know, I'm looking at Tegan sitting in the audience, an alumni of this program, one of my coworkers at ExxonMobil, sits on the board for the advisory council for the HSEP here at Scotlandville. You know, that's what we're after. We're after trans translating this talent, right, our future workforce uh, into employees at ExxonMobil, other local firms, wherever their heart desires, honestly. Um, so again, I thank you all for being here. I really want to thank the ExxonMobil employees because without your help and without your generosity and your talent uh, to help these students, things like today would not be possible. Uh, but I'm most excited to introduce some of the students. I'm not sure who is going to be up first. Is it Nazim? You want to come introduce your team and tell us all about what you're going to do? Get my glasses out your way. Good morning, my name is Nazik McKeel, and I am the project manager of this project that we're doing here at Scotlandville. And I'd really like to introduce my team. First, we have Jacob O'Connor. He's the architectural pro program manager of the project. And Christian, who is his lead architect on the project. Then we have Elvis Richard. He's the MEP program manager for the project. And, J and Javion Pearson. She is the civil engineering program manager here on this project. I'd first like to talk about how this project came about. Originally, over the summer, I was doing an internship over at CSRS Tillage, and Ms. Arvey came to me with the, with the news that she had received a grant, a small grant from the EBR Foundation, and she is telling me how she wanted to really do something with the money. So originally, she introduced the idea of having just a small seating area right here where we're sitting at now. And I took that idea and I thought to myself, we could really do so much more than just that. So I took the initiative to become the project manager of the project and also bring some other people with me to actually make the project happen. So with that being said, with the project we were planning on, originally we had planned to do a koi pond and a small garden with that koi pond. But after really considering what was really logical, we knew that we had to downscale it just a little bit. So now we're planning on making a disappearing waterfall and also having a garden there. And with that, we want to also incorporate each grade level here at Scotlandville. So as you'll see here, the class of 2017, the seniors, we're gonna work on the irrigation for the garden and also the water system, which is the disappearing waterfall. The juniors are gonna work on the lighting and the solar panels. We're having this, these solar panels because this is a green project. And all the electricity that we use on the project, we wanna to try to at least produce some of it naturally. Um, the sophomores are gonna work on the walking path. We're planning on having pavers leading up to the gazebo, which is gonna be the seating area, which is what Ms. Arvey originally wanted, but we added so much more to it. And the freshmen are gonna work on the garden and also attracting, di attracting different nature to it, like butterflies and birds. And lastly, we came up with a name for the project and it was leaving the, the, leaving the leaf on stem. And what that project means, first, let's break it down. Leave, leaving the leaf, a leaf symbolizes nature. And with that being said, it was more of a environmental project. So that's where leaf comes in at, and stem, which we all know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we're leaving, uh, it, uh, we're leaving our mark here on Scotlandville with using STEM, but also making it a green project. And I would like to turn it over to Javion, who's going to really go over our irrigation. One idea for irrigation that we had about the garden. Good morning, everyone. Like he said, my name is Javion Pearson, and I'm a senior here at Scotlandville Magnet High School. So if you look over here, this is our project that we were, we were given a task yesterday. We met with some people from the ExxonMobil site and we were given a task 
and our main task was to get water from point A to point B. To get water from point A and point, and point B. So, if you look over here, we started with the design process. We were taught this the design process in ninth grade, and from ninth grade, it was basically beat into our skulls until, we're, <laughs> <laughs> until we were able to take tests on it and master the skills. And now in 12th grade, we're emphasizing the, the, design, the engineering design process in our basic experiments. So the first thing we had to do was to find the problem. Our problem was getting water from point A to point B. Then we, but first we have to see, is this problem something that we can actually solve? We're engineers, of course we can solve it. <laughs> so going on to point two, we have to generate concepts. That's when me and my team, we came up with um, brainstorming concepts on um, different ways that we can incorporate our ideas and make a collaborative effort into one project. And that's what we did over there. So we that was when we developed our solution. After we developed our solution, we test our prototype. After testing our prototype with the help of Mr. George, we tested and we actually came into some bumps in the road because we, d we noticed that the holes that we made were not big enough on the tubes. So then we had to go back, we had to do some measurements, and we had to make some bigger holes. After we did that, we test our solution and we va evaluated our solution and it worked. So now we're presenting our project to you right now. And from presenting our project, that comes the project, the project innovation um, skill, and the project innovation step. And from that, we're going to actually make our irrigation system with the actual project. This is not the actual project. This is just a prototype to get our minds going. On our actual project, we're going to have a, a pump. It's not going to be manual, but um, I don't know if we're going to have a chance to, to display it right now, but after, we certainly will for you all. Thank you so much. Can you hear it? No. Oh. I think it's this one. Okay. Hello? That one's yours? Okay. Well, I'll talk loud. How about that? Can y'all hear me? We've been trying to get this on the whole time. So I just wanted to welcome you all here this morning for this uh, really exciting announcement. Uh, my name is Keila Stovall and I am the Executive Director of the Foundation for East Baton Rouge School System. And uh, this morning I just wanted to acknowledge that our school board president, Ms. Barbara Freiberger, is here. Thank you for coming. This is a really exciting day. We've got Ms. Jada Lewis, our Bessie representative, and uh, Chana Banks Daniels who um, with the Metro Council. So thank you all for taking the time to be here. And um, we're, just, we're just really excited. Um, what the STEM Learning Network is, is it's a pathway for STEM education K through 12 within the district. Um, the vision we have for the STEM Learning Network is that all students will benefit from a range of STEM experiences and will graduate with STEM knowledge and skills that they need for career and college and a successful future. And ultimately, that will positively impact our community and our region. The STEM Network will provide opportunities that will increase relevant STEM-rich experiences for students like project-based mentoring, maker spaces, guest lectures and tours, internships, capstone projects, and job shadowing. Students will experience activities like robotics and chess. The STEM Network will provide opportunities that will increase training for teachers and leaders and partners in our community to help build a STEM culture in all of our schools, not just um, those schools that are designated STEM schools. The STEM Network will provide opportunities that will spread best practices, share resources, and communicate the vision and strategy for STEM in East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. The STEM Network will provide opportunities to develop industry partnerships for advising STEM programs in schools and providing work-based experiences for students and teachers. You've seen evidence this morning of the incredible student experiences that are possible when business and industry come together at a school to mentor students and cultivate the skills that they need to see themselves in STEM careers. These students 
right here on the front row who just explained their project so well are just one small spot, one small part of the STEM learning network. Lee High School students and uh, their principal, Ms. McCann, Nan, there she is, um, are also working on similar projects in their um, intro to engineering class and where they are experiencing um, different acts aspects and different disciplines of um, the engineering field. As we continue the journey that ExxonMobil has started for us this morning, you can expect to see as a result of the STEM Learning Network, a strategic framework for STEM education at all grade levels in the district, funding for teachers for innovative approaches to classroom experiences, school funding for project-based activities for students, professional development activities, increased opportunities for community involvement in our schools and ultimately you can expect to see more EBR students graduate prepared for college and career. Thank you Angela and to all of your colleagues at ExxonMobil, many of which are here in their red shirts. Um, we appreciate all of you who have made this opportunity available to 42,000 children and teens who are students in East Baton Rouge Parish school system. The investment in the STEM Learning Network is an investment in our schools and their future. This gift is communicating to all of our students that their futures are important. I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to personally thank you for this significant financial contribution. Thank you for believing in what is possible for our students. Thank you for leading the way among business and industry as investors in public schools. It's now my pleasure to welcome Mr. our superintendent, Mr. Warren Drake. Well, thank you, Kayla, and thank you, everyone, for being here today. It's really uh, what a phenomenal opportunity to see these young kids here today. They're not young kids anymore. I thought they were all college, and I thought they were out working in the community already when I saw them this morning. But what a, what a great example that these young men and women set for us in East Baton Rouge Parish. I want to recognize our principal, Tiffany Quiet. Tiffany, stand up and be recognized because you deserve this. Uh, Tiffany has led this school with character, with leadership skills, with honor, and this is some of the results of what her leadership has shown here at, at Scotlandville High School. I've had the great pleasure to work with this school over the last year and a half and to see the high school engineering program at work and, and the volunteers through the advisory council that makes this really what it is. Uh, I also want to recognize our staff here today that works with Scotlandville. I appreciate all of what you do each and every day. Uh, but really, it's this today is about ExxonMobil's investment in our system and in our school, Scotlandville High and Lehigh. Uh, it's phenomenal when they can come together and make an investment like this for project-based learning that teaches and allows our kids to move forward in a, a project-based environment, it's just unbelievable. And Exxon, Angela, and all of our Exxon people here today, they, they do this through time, through talent, and through resources. Today, we see the example of the resources, $100,000, quite incredible. But on a daily basis, you see the time that they put. The volunteers from Exxon, in particular, every day in all of our schools, the Exxon employees give of their time and receive back those grants to go back into the schools. And of course the talent, the talented people of ExxonMobil who have that expertise and go into our schools and give that opportunity to help our students on a daily basis. So really it's incredible what can happen when all of our stakeholders come together to provide an experience like this. So I want to thank ExxonMobil for their investment in resources, time and talent. I want to thank Tiffany and Scotlandville High School. This is going to be an incredible opportunity for our school system to model throughout the school system, throughout Louisiana and throughout the nation. It's going to be an incredible experience. Most of all, I want to thank our students, this representation of our students at Scotlandville High, who will lead us and make me look good, right? <laughs> because when you look good, your principal looks good, and I look good too. And I like to look good. So thank you all so much for what you do. We appreciate Scotlandville High School. Most of all, ExxonMobil for your investment in our community and in our school. Thank you all very much. Kayla's going to come back up.
So again, I just want to thank you all, and um, I'm going to invite Miss Arvy to come up here with me real quick. We are um, going to close out our our morning right now, and I invite you to come over here and interact with the students and let them explain a little bit more about their irrigation prototype. Miss Arvy has been such a big help to this school and to the foundation, and she makes us all proud. And um, I welcome any questions that you might have for us, our principals that are here this morning that are leading the way with the STEM network. We have a lot of people from the district and of course with um, ExxonMobil. So um, again, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Arvey, for what you've done to invest in these um, children and young people, let me say that, <laughs> our, our young adults. And um, most of all, thank you, ExxonMobil. So if anybody has any questions, we're available. And I invite you to the prototype. Thank you so much for coming. In our introduction to engineering, it's a ninth grade class, and we we introduce them to every level of engineering, so they can find out about civil engineering, uh, biomedical engineering, um, and mechanical engineering, construction management, computer science, bio everything that they can in engineering. So when they go to LSU, not only are they uh, getting dual enrollment credits towards their degree that they can actually know what type of engineering they're interested in. The best place is to uh, go to our website, Foundation uh, for EBR Schools. So if you uh, go in, it's uh, foundationebr.org. Uh, you can link that site, uh, find information, find contact, um, and learn more about it. And if you need something direct, you can call me, and I'll be sure and help, help you as well.